We've owned our 2018 New Camp Tab 400 for two years already, and I'm going to tell you how it's held up and if we do it all over again in this episode of Travels with Delaney. Welcome back everyone. So in this episode, I want to do a two year review of our 2018 New Camp Tab 400. We purchased this two years ago this December and man has the time flown by. But what I wanted to do was really share with you what we've done over that two year period. And I'm going to break it into three categories. Number one, we're going to talk about what items had to be fixed under warranty. Number two, Two, we're going to talk about what major maintenance we've done on our trailer. And finally, item number three, if you stay all the way to the end, I'm going to tell you about the upgrades that we have done on this trailer to make it just a little bit better. And then finally, at the very end, I will share with you our thoughts on the 400 itself and whether if we had to do it all over again, would we make the same decision? So let's go ahead and dive right in with item number one, warranty. So the new camp tab 400 comes with a one-year warranty on the actual trailer now some component parts may have longer warranties but the trailer itself has a one-year warranty now we live about three hours from the nearest dealership and we live about four hours from the factory so we always take our trailer directly back to new camp to have work done and that's one of the things we really have appreciated about new camp is they do have a service center that will allow you to bring their trailer to the factory to have work done if you choose to do that and the main thing is you have to get an appointment and they're pretty busy so typically I will call a month or two in advance to go ahead and set our appointment and then drop our trailer off to have the work done now I really appreciate that because again we're just not that close to an actual dealership our trailer was purchased in Florida and we live in Indiana so but we did have some warranty issues that we needed taken care of and the first one was a major warranty issue and that was the flooring in our trailer those of you that don't follow us on a regular basis there were two months at the end of 2017 where new camp could not get their asdale flooring and their supplier guaranteed them that the product they were shipping them was just as good turns out maybe it wasn't so what was happening was those trailers during that two-month period that were produced um, the floors were coming apart at the seams and so what you would actually see is long lines of of almost like a bubbling where the two pieces of flooring came apart underneath and so we had two distinct lines running the great part was new camp said no worries we're going to take care of that for you and so we ended up uh, taking them our trailer and what they basically do is they remove a lot of what's in here took up the entire flooring, put down the Asdale flooring, and then laid everything back down. And what was really nice was when we picked it up, we couldn't even tell they had done anything other than the fact that our floor didn't have the bubbles anymore. So that was a major warranty um, repair that we had, and we were very happy with the work that they did. The second major warranty item was the glycol tank in our trailer actually cracked about a year ago. I went to turn on the heat in here and had nothing, started doing some research and found out that our glycol tank was empty. It had actually leaked out. Now, New Camp's not really sure why the tank cracked, although they were concerned that I had had the trailer plugged in for about a month and a half straight running the heat. And so um, Austin had suggested that if I want to have heat in the trailer long term, I might be ahead to buy a small um, electric heater and just plug it into the trailer. Um, he thought, he didn't know, but he thought maybe running the glycol nonstop in Indiana cold weather might have played a part in that. Nice thing was, took the trailer to him, they put in a brand new um, tank, and uh, we were back in business. The third item that we had issues with was the refrigerator. Now, when we took it in, they couldn't find anything wrong per se with the refrigerator, um, but they knew of the issues we had had last summer. Um, so it, it was a situation where they knew something was going on, they just couldn't get it to act up. And that was the problem we were having was it would just periodically act up. New Camp went ahead and replaced our refrigerator for us. And then everything else that was covered under warranty was really minor things. Um, there was the outside plastic trim molding that had cracked in a couple spots. New Camp was aware of an issue with that, went ahead and replaced those at no charge. We had a couple of the clips that lock the shades to the screens that actually broke. They went ahead and replaced those no charge. 
We had a cabinet um, above the kitchen sink where the latch had just become really loose and we were finding going down the road that it would come open and, and things would fly out and they went ahead and just replaced those for us. The plastic clips on the table um, had broken, uh, I believe about a year ago, and they were kind enough, they just said, if you can install them, we'll just ship them to you, and they did, and it was just four screws and easy to replace. And then we also had a lock on the outdoor storage door that got to a point where you just couldn't turn it, and so they replaced that for us. So any of those minor issues, they were quick to go ahead and take care of, no issues there, and uh, so with warranty work, we could not be more happy. They took all of our issues very seriously. They didn't question us on anything and um, went ahead and fixed it up and always took really good care of us. So um, very happy with the New Camp warranty work and the New Camp service team. They do a great job. All right, let's go on to maintenance. Now, Obviously, when you own a trailer, there's always going to be routine maintenance like cleaning the filter on your AC um, or flushing your fresh water tank, but I'm talking about major maintenance. So what we've done so far in that regards is twice now we have had New Camp repack the bearings on the axle. And the reason for that is I believe they recommend that you do that after 10,000 miles. And so we have put over 25,000 miles on this trailer. So at the end of each summer, I have taken the trailer directly to New Camp to have that done for us. And uh, usually that's around 12,000 miles when we get that service done. And the reason we're doing that is we wanna make sure we keep those axles working properly and keep it safe when we are towing. And so for under, uh, I think under $200 each time, we've had that professionally done for us. Now I know some people will do that themselves, but it's just not something I really wanna tackle and um, am more than happy to know that it's being done the right way. That's really the only major maintenance that we've had to do on this trailer so far. Okay, on to the third category, upgrades. So we have made what I consider four major upgrades to our 2018 New Camp Tab 400. Right after we took possession, I went ahead and ordered a 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter that I installed myself. Now what I did was some research on where would they actually install it if I had ordered it directly from the factory, and I went ahead and installed it in the exact same location, and it works real nice. I have a single plug that will operate if we're off grid or boondocking. And the main reason we wanted that was we wanted to run the 800 watt microwave that we had purchased at Walmart, and also run Patty's 1000 watt hair dryer that we had purchased and it has worked out just fine for what we wanted it for. Then down the road we decided what we really needed for boondocking purposes or off-grid purposes was a solar panel actually mounted to the trailer. Now we already owned a 100 watt Renogy suitcase style solar panel but what I really wanted was to be able to gather energy while we were traveling on long travel days if the sun was out. And so we took our trailer back to the factory and had Austin and his team install their new single 194 watt solar panel along with the Victor Victron solar charger and the Victron monitor. Absolutely love it, works out great, and we really put that to the test this past summer when we went out west for six weeks, and we are really glad that we made the investment. Here's a little tip for you though. If you're thinking you're gonna want the solar package and the inverter, highly recommend you either find a tab on a lot that already has it installed, or you place an order directly from the factory through your local dealership to get it the way you want. Much cheaper at the initial purchase of your trailer as opposed to doing it after the fact. The third upgrade that we did last year about this time was I went ahead and purchased the diamond plate propane bucket for the front of the trailer that you would find on the boondock light package. Now, the main reason that I went ahead and spent the money to upgrade that was, number one, it's just a little bit larger than the plastic tub that comes on a standard tab 400. Second, it has a solid bottom in it, which means you can store more things in it because you don't have to worry about them falling through. And I actually just really like the look of that bucket on the front of the tab versus the plastic ones. So it was a fairly um, pricey upgrade. Uh, I believe those were over $500 at the time, but I really feel like it's worked out for us because I can carry a lot of items in there now. Things like my wheel chocks, my um, uh, water hose goes in there and just lots of tools and things like that. 
and um, it just works out really good for us. And then finally, the last major upgrade that we have done on this trailer is the new Max Air fan. Now it's model number 7500, which is the one that comes with the remote control. Absolutely love it. Wish we would have had installed that two years ago when we first got the trailer. Now, I do have a video where I talk about that fan and I will go ahead and link that up above for you if you wanna check that out. But let me just say, 10 speeds, super quiet, low energy consumption, has a remote control, and it has a thermostat, which means you can set it to go off at a certain temperature. Um, and so if you go to bed, have it set at a certain temperature, it starts to get cool in your trailer, it's gonna shut off on its own for you. The other nice thing that I absolutely love about it, you can leave it up during the rain and you don't have to worry about water getting into your trailer. So those are the four major upgrades that we have made on our trailer to date. Future upgrades that we're potentially looking at are changing out the axle to go to the pitch axle with the race kit. In essence, basically turning our standard Tab 400 into the Boondock light package so that we can get ready to go to Alaska in the summer of 2021. I'm thinking we just might want that little bit of extra ground clearance for some of those roads we anticipate that we will encounter on our trip north. All right, so what are our final thoughts on our new Camp Tab 400 2018? We absolutely love this trailer. This trailer is solid built. It has performed outstanding. Um, we have taken it down some ridiculously rough forestry roads. Um, we've put over 25,000 miles on it. And honestly, even though you see some wear and tear from us where I've nicked a cabinet or a nicked a countertop, overall, if you looked at this trailer, I don't think you would ever guess that it is two years old at this point and has been camped in for over 120 nights already. What I absolutely love is the construction on this trailer. The cabinetry in the wood is actually solid. It's not some press particle board um, and everything is just well made. But more importantly, what we're impressed about is the customer service level of New Camp and the responsiveness, not only to us, but to other customers like you that have reached out to us to tell us your stories about how they've been treated by New Camp. And, and so it's that, I always tell people, when you buy a new camp trailer, you're not buying just a trailer, you are buying a family. Everybody over at New Camp treats us like we're part of the family, and there's a reason why their annual rally, U Camp, sold out last year in less than eight hours. People feel like they're a part of the organization because the owner makes you feel like you're part of the organization. So would we buy this trailer all over again and spend the money that we spent? The answer is absolutely yes. We are so happy with New Camp and New Camp's customer service and their trailer that there's nobody else that we would rather be at at this point in our lives. We love the trailer and the fact that it's 18 feet. It weighs in at around 2,800 pounds. And if you want all the specs and all the details on what the trailer looks like, I'm going to link our tour video from two years ago so that you can check that out. Also, if you want even more information on this Tab 400, I'm going to go ahead and link a playlist of a series called Take five where if you'll give me five minutes for each video i'll show you how all the different components on this trailer works if you have any questions comments please leave them down below let us know if you're familiar with new camp rv or if you own one also let us know if you don't what trailer do you own and how do you like it until next time everybody we'll see you on down the road good night a special thank you to patreon's ron and lisa beard for making this episode possible